Hey, what's up YouTube? I want to give you the latest on my Aver Media setup, Raspberry Pi, headset, what all I'm running here. So I have my computer monitor. I typically just use this monitor for my computer, but what I do is I just plug it out, plug the uh, HDMI, and I go into the out here, and then I have my Raspberry Pi going in, and then you have your uh, micro USB going into your USB in your computer. So my computer's seeing the Pi through the USB in this device, and then the Pi is all going through HDMI, the video and the sound. And I know I made some bad videos recently where the sound was way too loud, the balance was off. Um, this is not the perfect solution, but it's all about making the best out of what you have. And usually when I invest into things, I'm thinking big picture. And the thing is, if I ever buy like a PlayStation VR or an HTC Viv or whatever their Vive, whatever their uh, virtual reality is, or I buy uh, the new Wii or the Nintendo Switch, this device is going to be able to capture all those things. So although there might be a better Raspberry Pi specific solution out there that's also cheaper, I like the idea that I could do more than just that with this device. So that's what led me to this and that's why I'm so gung-ho to get this to work properly. So without further ado, um, I've made a previous video. You can get their drivers, the, the Aver Media drivers, and the download. You're going to get this program right here called Rec Central. And after messing with this program enough and long enough, I have to say it's not that great for the Raspberry Pi. The reason being is although the wizard is great, and you actually have to use the wizard even if you're going to use a different program, um, but the wizard is great because you can you know tell it what you're going to be doing. Are you going to be doing component, HDMI, um, your audio source, you can have your microphone always on or have hotkeys. The music you're hearing is coming out of my Raspberry Pi because this image has sound. It's background music on emulation station, so let's lower the speakers a little bit. So as you can see, the video card is not only, the Aver Media card is not only, here's my mic, 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 mic on the bottom, and then as well as you can hear the sound. So. Um, Although this program is really good with the audio video mixes, and when you go ready, it now, I could now start recording, right? The only problem is when I'm in my Raspberry Pi here, and I'm like going around, and I click into a game, when the resolution changes from the game into, from the emulation station into the game, the resolution on the Pi changes, which throws off this device here, and so, this software here, the software here, um, the software there makes separate video files. So I have like a video, so if I'm talking in between emulation station and the game, you all, when I go to post production it, don't hear that. And that's a big problem. So that's why I don't recommend this program right here if you're just doing that. But it's a must have, you have to have this program because once you set up your control, your audio, and like whether you're going to be doing 3.5 or HDMI, once you set all that up, you can actually open up a program like XSplit. And I'm finding I like XSplit way more than um, OBS. OBS has a lot of little issues. So I'm just going to log in really quick to XSplit. And I have the free version. So you're allowed to record up to 720p. And uh, so that's really good and good enough for most YouTube. So as you can see, I can see the whole thing here, and I have my mic balance, and I have my video, and my in-game sounds. And for those of you that were like wondering before, you're like, dude, your sound mix is all messed up. Let me just tell you that my, the, the sound was like about here, halfway up, this little thing. And now I have it down to here, and it's, the be it's better than it's been. So let me show you what these settings look like. So I have my Aver Media Capture Card on the bottom left. On the bottom left there. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is you're just gonna see me recording with these exact settings here. And you'll see that I can go from emulation station into a game and all the sound and everything works. So, so far this is my favorite setup. It also allows me to have a webcam. It also allows me to stream. So, so far this is one of the best solutions I've come up with. If you have any questions, please comment below. But I did wanna make this video. So for those who want like a capture card with a lot of capabilities, maybe this one will work. I'm sure there's other ones out there that might even be better I would love to test them out I just don't have them right now so test number two let's raise the volume up a little bit more 
Let's test this out. So here we go, Adam's family values. Quite graphic. Can I go in that hole right there? Connect the hole to the electricity. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Down here. Dun 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 dun. This is just like Zelda. I'm thinking the blue red pill. Gatekeepers. Okay. So there you go. Test number two. So there you have it. I think I could even set it a little louder than that, but uh, it's working pretty well now. I'm liking it, and I'm sure it'll just get better with time. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.